بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از محمد ابو القرش ایم اسسٹنٹ ٹیچر انگلش کشور ونس گورنمنٹ بوائز ہائی اسکول ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک این امپورٹنٹ گرامٹیکل کلاس مائی ٹوڈیز کلاس کلاس از آن دا یوزیج آف رائٹ فارمس آف ابھر for the students of class 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So first we have to know what is a verb. A verb is a part of speech. It is a doing or saying word. It is a word that denotes an action. action occurrence or a state of existence it serves as the predicate of a sentence so look at the example Rohim drinks milk every day Raja was robbed by a gang Nabil is present now here drink is a verb that refers to an action was robbed is a passive form refers to an occurrence robbing is refers to a state of being or existence so we see from the example that a verb refers to an action occurrence or a state of existence it also serves as the predicate of a sentence here uh, Rohim drinks milk every day. Rohim is a subject and drinks and the rest of the sentence is a predicate. Now, forms of a verb. How many forms of a verb of a verb does have? We see there are many forms of a verb in English grammar. Here I shall discuss with six basic forms of a verb. The six forms are base form or bare infinitive, eat, drink, play, S form, eats, drinks, plays. So uh, when when a verb ends with S, it is called S form. Ang form or present participle, eating, drinking, playing. Past form, ate, drank, played. Past participle form, eat on, drunk, played. Infinitive form, to eat, to drink, to play. So these are the six basic forms. We have to learn the usage of these six forms of the verb properly. So let's uh, see the usage of the six forms of the verb. First comes the usage of base form. Uh, in present indefinite tense, we use base form after these subjects I, we, you, they, these, those, follows base form in present indefinite tense. In interrogative sentence, do, does, did, follows base form. In imperative sentence, for any command or word or a person, we use base form. In imperative sentence, late follows base form. In operative sentence, may follows base form, long follows base form. In future perfect tense, uh, 
If four is followed by future perfect, shall have first participle, will have first participle, and after before we use base form. That is, after before we can use present indefinite tense. In future perfect, um, sh shall have will have first participle is followed by after. And before after we use present indefinite tense. So this subject follows here base form. For example, I will you they often drink me. Here drink refers to present indefinite tense. So after this subject, I we you they follow. We use drink. This one. Do did do they eat meat? Did they eat meat? Or does they eat meat? So in interrogative sentence, do did follow this one. Does follows this one. Open the door is an imperative sentence. So when we Order or request, uh, order or command a person, we use this form. Let me do the work. It is also an imperative sentence. Here, let follows this form. May Allah bless you or long live our king. In operative sentence, may follows this form. Long follows this form. I shall have read the book before you come. Here <coughs> we have used future perfect. Uh, so here be, after before we use this one. That is after before we use present infinite tense. So uh, in present indefinite tense, we use base form. Uh, here, uh, after this, uh, uh, after follows future perfect tense. So, for after, we use present indefinite. That is, we can use base form uh, after this subject. Now other usage of this form see, feel, see, feel, watch, make, notice, and object this form. So if object if this subject follows an object and after object we use this form. Uh, since as though since as though as if this linking words are uh, followed by past form but before since if uh, since as though as if is followed by past form we use base form before since as though as if uh, in first condition we use this form. In first condition, uh, if follows this form, if uh, we if follows this form, uh, because it is followed by I, we, you, they, this types of subject follows this form in present. And we use present indefinite in first condition and if follows present indefinite tense. We use this form in zero condition. Zero condition if present indefinite, present indefinite. So in zero condition if follow present indefinite then we use present indefinite. So, in general condition, we use 
you can use this one subject suggest advice uh, recommend urge advocate counsel that subject based form so this structure is called a subjunctive because uh, this subject always follows this form whether the subject is singular or plural it doesn't matter but you have to uh, we have to always use here a base form model or uh, model auxiliaries always follow a base form pseudo models also follow base form model auxiliary can could may might should should will would must always this one pseudo models going to use to or to have to has to had to follows this one these are called pseudo models we can use them instead of moral syllables while ing form this um, in this structure if subject is i we use they we can use this one for example, uh, I saw him go here. C saw object base form. C object base form. They talk as if they were met, as if uh, followed by where. Where is a past form? So before as if we have to use uh, present independent tense that. That is, we can use this one. If you help me, I should help you in second condition. We can use uh, this one because it follows present independent tense. Uh, in first condition, should use its first condition. In first condition, we use uh, this form because it follows present in infinite tense if we hit eyes it means so a, in zero condition we can use this form because uh, in zero condition it follows present in infinite then um, the other sentences will be present in infinite uh, zero condition refers to the scientific method, scientific rules. Actually, uh, zero condition means the, there is no condition. It, happen, it happens usually, naturally. Uh, so, look at the um, example here. He uh, suggested that he take medicine daily. So, look at the sentence. Suggest advice recommend this types of verb uh, follows this form here uh, this form is a subjunctive because he though it is a singular subject but here it follows this form I can drive the car here can is a model auxiliary so can follows this form I'm going to open a coffee cafe. We are going to the pseudo model. It follows this one. While walking in the garden, I see a beautiful bird. Usually, happen, it happens every day. So, here we can use any types of verb. We can use present indefinite, past indefinite, or other tenses. So, these are the usage of base form. Uh, now usage of S form. So where we can use this form, uh, we can use this form there. This uh, uh, because we use S form in present indefinite tense. We use this form in present indefinite tense. Uh, we use S form when the subject in subject is in third person singular number. 
uh, uh, we can use this structure as form because uh, if default is uh, if we use future perfect before before then before we follow present independent that is we can use here as form uh, after this subject he she it calling this that is a singular uh, third person singular subject singular person and third person singular person always follows as form in present in infinite tense is she it coding as form after she will have a special so if we use future perfect um, after after then we have to use present infinite uh, before after so in this structure if the uh, subject is in third person singular we can use as well since as the as if if since as the as if follows past form we use as form or present base form we can use as form before since as the as if uh, in first condition if follow present independent so if so if the subject here is in third person singular number that is if follows if if follows third person singular subject then we use as form in first condition uh, zero condition so uh, so zero condition uh, refers to scientific rules or method where if follows present indefinite then present indefinite so uh, in zero condition we can use as form if the subject is in third person singular now. So for example he drinks milk every day here uh, he follows drinks because he is a third person singular a number his subject is a third person singular number and uh, in present indefinite tense third person singular number always follows uh, as form so the future perfect uh, will follow uh, before before we will follow present indefinite so we can here use as form if the subject is in third, per, third person singular number he comes to house after I shall have finished the work here after is followed by future perfect so we can use uh, present indefinite tense before after here as the subject is third person singular number here we can use as well he talks as if he knew everything here <coughs> after as if we use <coughs> no we use new as form of the verb no so before as if uh, we can use present infinite tense as the subject is in third person singular number here we can use as form if he reads the book he will know many things this is a uh, first condition where it follows as form uh, it follows present independent here subject is third person singular number so here we can use as form if you hit ice it melts 
so here it uh, it follows uh, base form present independent then the sentence is also in present independent so this structure is called zero condition um, here um, both the verb can can be in as form if the subject is in third person singular so these are the usage of S form. Now <coughs> usage of ING form. Uh, we can use ING, uh, ING form or present participle in one continuous tense. We can use it in present continuous. M is MING is ING or ING. We can use it in past continuous was ng or ng. We can use in future continuous shall be ng will be ng. We can use it in pub, uh, present perfect continuous have been ng has been ng. We can use it in past perfect continuous tense have been ng. We can use it in future perfect continuous shall have been ng will have been ng. We can use it. Uh, we can use ing form as a gerund and as a subject of a sentence. For example, she is drinking tea. It is a. It is present continuous. He was eating past continuous. I shall be reading the book. Which is continuous. He has been doing the work. Present perfect continuous. They had been playing football. Past perfect continuous. Uh, we shall have been buying many books. Future perfect continuous. Swimming is a good exercise. Here, swimming is a ng form of a verb and it refers to jiran. Jiran is a noun. So let's see other usage of ing form. ing form can follow noun as an adjective. Um, ing form can be used as a complement of a verb. See, watch, feel, notice, spend, stop, imagine, dislike. Our object ing form. So we can use ing form. In this structure, preposition always follows a noun or noun phrase. That is, preposition always follows ing form of a verb. Uh, or busy, can't help mind, follows ing form. Or then busy, <coughs> both are adjectives. Uh, these two adjectives follows ing form. Can't help mind also follow ing form. Ing form subject verb here. Uh, ing form is used. Uh, if ing form is used before a sentence, it is called a sentence modifier. So you can use ing form as a sentence modifier. Subject here is non-living. If subject is uh, non-living non thing, and it follows needs, need 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 uh, verb uh, need verb, then uh, after need verb, we use ing form. Uh, between the and of, we can use ing form. It's called verbal noun. So, as a verb now, we can use uh, ing form. Don't provoke the sleeping dog here. Sleeping is ing form. ing form follows uh, the noun dog here. Sleeping is an adjective. Uh, the baby began crying here. Crying is a compliment. Um, I saw a man lying on the floor. Look at the structure. C object ing. So, a man is object ing. Is capable of doing the work here. Of is a preposition, so preposition always follow ing form. 
I'm busy doing the work. Your busy is an adjective, so busy follows and you come. Sing a verb, he shot it. Here, sing is a sentence modifier. My car needs washing. Here, my car is a non living thing. It, so, after needs, we have to use ing form. But if it is a uh, it, it, it is a living thing, we have to use infinitive form. Two ways form. The reading of history book is my favorite hobby. Here, uh, reading is used between the end of it is called verbal noun. So these are the usage of ing form. So students are asked to uh, follow the rules and examples very carefully. Now usage of past form. Uh, we use past form in past infinite tense. We use past form. Uh, it is high time, it is time, and so wish. If uh, these are followed by subject, then subject follows past form. Uh, since says the as if there are several living conjunction linking word. So if since says the as if follow past perfect, we use uh, past form before since as do as if. Subject uh, in past perfect tense. Uh, at past participle is followed by before, um, then after before we use past form. In past perfect, uh, after it is followed by at past participle, so before after we use past form. In second condition, we use uh, if follows past form. While if while is followed by past continuous, then we use uh, past form in the other sentence as a verb. Uh, if principal principal clauses in past tense, so the sentence in subordinating clause must be in past tense. For example, she drank wine yesterday. Drank is a uh, yesterday refers to past indefinite. So here, drank is used in past indefinite terms. It is item we changed our behavior. It is item is followed by subject to. So we follow upon uh, follows changed the past form. He had food as if he had been a mad. Here, as if he is followed by past perfect had been. So, before as if uh, we have to use past form of the verb. The patient had died before the doctor came. It is the usage of past perfect. So, uh, in past perfect tense, uh, had past perfect will be followed by before and after before we use. Again, uh, in past perfect tense, um, after this followed by had past participle added here. He finished reading the uh, paper after I had had my food here. Had 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 past participle. So um, before after we have to use past form. If you help me, I would help you. Here it is a second condition. Here he follows past form. While he was walking in the garden, he saw a snake. So uh, if follow if uh, we use if we use past continuous after where, then 
where three rows pass from the second second clause or principal clause. He ran away as if he saw a cobra. So uh, here uh, independent clauses in past tense. So dependent clause will be in past tense. So these are the uses of past form. Usage of past participle form. So we use past participle form, especially in the perfect tense. Um, subject have past participle, his have past participle, his past participle uh, refers to present perfect tense. Had past participle, past perfect tense. Shall have past participle, will have past participle, which are perfect tense. M is or was well, past participle, it is passive mode. Uh, these, are, these are called passive form. So, in passive form, so for building passive form, we use past participle after auxiliary verbs. Having been, been, to be, get, got, follows past participle. Past participle plus noun. So, past participle can follow a noun as an adjective. Noun, past participle, verb. So, uh, a noun can follow past participle. For example, Rahman has already come home, which is a um, present perfect tense. She had come, she had done the work properly, past perfect tense. I shall have finished the work, which a perfect tense. The work was done by him, here was done as a passive or passive mode. Um, having done the work, I returned home, here having follows uh, past participle. Having been, been, to be, got, get, etc. follows past participle. It is also called perfect participle. When uh, having follows past participle, it is called perfect participle. It is a much talked topic. Here, topic is a noun talked past participle. So, past participle can follow a noun as an adjective. The sugar imported from Brazil is very qualitative. Here, the sugar is a noun and imported uh, here is used as a past participle. So, these are the usage of past participle form. Now, uh, we have to learn the usage of infinitive form. So, infinitive, uh, full infinitive is used as a noun because we can use full infinitive uh, as a subject of a sentence. We can use full, full infinitive as a complement of the sentence. Uh, so, infinitive is used as a noun or as a noun phrase. Look at the, uh, so, two base form as verb, as a subject of a sentence. Afford, agree, appear, attempt, begin, decide, expect, fail, forget, intent, like, prefer, pretend, propose, seem, try, want, wish, always, follows, uh, infinitive form. It is high time, it is time, follows, infinitive form. If it is high term, it is time for uh, follows a subject, then the subject will follow past form. If there is no subject, then we have to use infinitive form. Tua is human here. Uh, tua, tua is human. Tua refers to noun, uh, the subject of the sentence. I can't afford to buy the car. Here, to buy is a complement. Uh, it is used after the verb before. 
so two y is a complement here it is high time to start our journey so after high time uh, this time we can use infinity form so i have come to the end of the class um, so thanks for uh, watching the class please share the class to others uh, because of corona pandemic we are locked down uh, in our dwelling house so we i will request all this i will request uh, all the students teachers and others to stay home and stay safe thank you